city, and we have to figure out why that is. This is not about law-abiding gun owners. This is about gangs. This is about, even if you took all the guns off the street from the law-abiding citizens, the others who mean harm, who mean to kill and mayhem, they're going to have the guns. So we have to figure out what's going on in our communities. We have to find the right problem so that we can come to the right solution. There are gang activities, there are criminal activities that are happening. And when are we gonna weed them out? When are we gonna start putting the people who commit these crimes in jail? If we don't lock them up, then we release them back into the community so that they can just, what, keep killing? When do we say enough is enough? When do we say that? How many more people have to die before we say, you're going to jail. We're gonna lock you up and there's not gonna be any bail so that we can have safety in our communities. When does that happen? Who, who, does, who is in charge? Is that the mayor? Is that the chief? Who is that? I mean, let's start naming names. Because otherwise, if no one is accountable, and if all we do is come in front of a camera or several cameras and keep talking about, well, this shouldn't happen and that shouldn't happen, and then, well, you're the one in charge. You're the one responsible. So let's cut it. And let those who have the accountability finally say, people are going to jail. I'm authorizing my chief to put them in jail. That's what we need. We need leadership, true leadership. Because I tell you what, this is not happening where the movers and shakers of this community live. It should not have happened at a graduation, a life event. They're entering into adulthood. They're looking at a future. And we hope to God that there are no fatalities. But this does have to stop. And we know where it starts. If I had the accountability and the responsibility, this wouldn't keep happening. The people who are elected here, they're in charge. They must make that adjustment so that this, the shootings, don't keep happening. Thank you.